All right, so here are the boot cuffs that we are going to be making today. Here. So here's a blue pair. There's a gray pair. This is a size small. And the yarn that we're going to be using for this tutorial is going to be this color right here. Um, we're going to, you can make them in a small, medium, and large. A small is 10 inch, medium is 12, and large is 13. Um, and when I say that, that's around here. Like when you stretch this out, or even unstretched, it should be 10 inches unstretched. So it should be 10 inches around. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on this. So you're going to need a medium full weight yarn. Um, I'm just using some Craft Smart yarn. Uh, any full weight yarn will work. Um, you can use a, I use a row counter for my ribbed part right here, just to help me stay, keep track of the ribbed. Um, the hook we're going to be using today is a 5.0. Um, you'll need a pair of scissors and and you would need a yarn needle. Okay, so in this tutorial today, I'm going to make the size small, but I will tell you the numbers that you need for the medium and large as we go. Um, for the ribbing part, it's the same. We are going to chain nine. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now, in the back, you see those little bumps back there? We're going to work in that back bump, or you can call that the third chain. There's one, or third loop, I'm sorry. You can call that the third loop. So it's one, two, and then back there is your third loop. So let's go ahead and work in that third loop or the back bump. We're going to work a single crochet in the first one. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. seven, and eight. Okay, so there is our first row. So I'm going to put one. All right, so now we're going to chain one, we're going to turn our work, and we're gonna work in this back loop right here. There's the front loop and back loop. So insert your hook. Now I'm going to grab that strand of yarn and work that as I go. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Chain one, turn your work. Now we're going to continue this for if you're making a small, you're going to do 34 rows of that. You're going, to do, you're going to do that 34 times. If you're making a medium, you're going to do that 38 times. And if you're making the large, which is the large is 13 inches around, the medium is 12 inches around. Plus, you can try it on yourself as well. But if you're making it for a gift, that's the rough, uh, rough estimate. Everybody crochets differently. Some crochet loose, some crochet tight. And it depends on your yarn. Uh, some medium full weight yarns are thinner than, than some, and some are a little thicker than some. So um, that's just 
the basic to go by. You can add more rows if needed. Okay, so like I said, we're making the small. So we, we are going to do 34 of these. I'm going to do one more row of this, then I'll leave you on your own. So you single crochet in that first stitch, the back loop. Single crochet in the next back loop. And you're going to continue this all the way down. This is how you make your ribbing. And you should have eight single crochets. All right, chain one, turn your work. And you see how your ribbing has started? There it is there, and there it is there. Okay, um, I will leave you at, alone at this point. I'll meet you back when I finish uh, row 34. If you're working on medium, uh, you'll need to go to row 38. And if you're working the large, row 42. So just keep repeating uh, row two. All right, now that you've got the amount of rows that you need for your size, here's what it looks like. See, both sides look the same. So what I'm going to do is where, in, at the end, when you finish your last single crochet, do not chain one, just turn the work and then take this other end and put them together, the two ends, creates a circle. And now we are going to slip stitch our ends together. So just insert your hook in that first stitch and then back in that stitch that you um, ended with right there. And just slip stitch each stitch, the two stitches together, both ends together. So make sure that you're getting the front and your back. Just like that. One more. Okay, so now that you've slip stitched across, go ahead and chain one. And then now we're going to kind of open this up and we're going to flip it. And it will look like this. So now we're going to chain one. We're going to single crochet in that same stitch. And if you want, you can put a stitch marker there, um, you know, if it will help you. We're going to put a, double, a single crochet in between every ridge. To, I want two single crochets. So, there's one and one. So, be single crochet two times in here two times in here, two times, you know, at the top. And depending on the size that you have, uh, since mine's a small, I should end up with uh, 34 single crochets. So I've got three. Okay, I will meet you when you get um, to the last down here. All right, when you get ready to do your last single crochet, you've already got one, so your last single crochet should be right here. And then slip stitch into that first single crochet. And then slip stitch into the next stitch. All right, so now we're going to work on doing some crossed double crochets. 
So what we're going to do is chain three. It's one, two, three. And that first stitch that you skipped, right, that you slip stitched into, is right there. We're going to start our double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook, take your hook behind and grab that stitch that you had slipped into earlier. And make a double crochet. See, so you have a cross double crochet. So now we're going to skip the next stitch and work in this stitch. So we're going to work a double crochet in that next stitch. We're going to do it again, the cross double crochet, but we're going to work in that stitch right there that we skipped. So yarn over, take your hook behind. There we go. And make a double crochet. Skip the next stitch and double crochet in the next stitch. There. So we're going to work in that skipped stitch. We're going to continue, uh, repeat the process. It's hard to show you this in camera. There you go. Skip, skip the next stitch and double crochet in this stitch. Okay, and then there's your skip stitch we're going to work into. And just keep repeating that all the way around. Skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch. And go back to that skip stitch, yarn over. Search your hook in that stitch and work a double crochet. Skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, and in that skip stitch, yarn over, insert your hook in there, do a double crochet. And here's what it's looking like. And you're going to continue that all the way around. I do find it helpful um, when I show you, when I put my finger on that skip stitch when I go to work in it, since it is back here behind, it helps me know where it's at by having my fingernail there. Okay, here it is. Okay, I will meet you when uh, we get to the end. If you're doing this for the small, you'll have 17 of these cross double crochets. And if you are doing a medium, You'll have 19 of these, and if you're doing a large, you'll have 21 of these. Okay, so I just finished my last cross stitch, so now we are going to slip stitch into the top of this chain three. Not here, but in the top of the chain three. And we're going to chain one. Now we're going to single crochet in that same stitch. Single crochet in the next stitch. And you're going to repeat this all the way around. If you're working on a small, you'll have 34 single crochets. If you're working on a medium, you'll have 38 single crochets. And if you're working on the large, you should have 42 single crochets. Okay, I will meet you back here. Okay, now that you've finished, slip stitch into the first single crochet. And then slip stitch into the next single crochet. And we're going to repeat 
our pattern. So for row four, we're going to repeat row two. You're just going to go back and forth between this row and this row, back and forth for as long as you want it. Um, I actually have my repeat rows all the way to row 10. And that ends with this right here. So chain three. And in this first stitch that you slip stitched into, work a double crochet. And then just keep repeating that. Skip the next one, double crochet in the next one. Double crochet in the back part of the slip of the skipped stitch. Skip the next stitch, double crochet. Skip the next uh, slip, double crochet in the skipped stitch. It may be a little awkward at first doing these, but once you do them, your mind and your hands it becomes a little bit more natural. But it, if you haven't done the cross double crochet, it seems a little unnatural. <laughs> at first but yeah i'm going to leave you alone um, i will meet you uh, when you finish row 10 row 10 will be um, your cross double crochet rows so i'll meet you back okay so i just finished row 11 and um you should have one two three four five double crossed double crochet rows um, and if you feel like yours needs to be a, be a little bit longer because when you put this on this does stretch then you can go ahead and um, repeat row two and three but row 11 is the single crochet row which it was row three so we're going to repeat that one more time so slip stitch into your first single crochet chain one and we're just going to make our last row is going to be a single crochet row. So row 11 and row 12 are single crochet rows. Like this. All right, I'll meet you when you get to the end. Okay, so now we are finished. We're going to slip stitch into that first single crochet pull our yarn up and we're going to fasten off and I like to pull the yarn back through we're going to take our yarn needle and thread our yarn needle and we're just going to weave it in on the inside of the boot cuff there we go okay just fasten it off all right now you have yourself a boot cuff look at that isn't that pretty okay um i do have a pdf pattern in my etsy shop i will leave the link in the description box below uh, feel free to make as many as you want and I do have a Facebook group page and if you would like to show these off in your Facebook group page I mean in the Facebook group page that would be awesome um, just make them in all colors look at that aren't they just beautiful so yeah I'd love to see all your different makes um, and different colors and stuff that you guys create um, in the Facebook group page. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Happy crocheting. Uh, just remember to live life and have fun. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.